The shot starts wide with me walking towards the main actor. I switch to walking backwards and continue rotating around the actor to my first position, making sure to avoid the low tree branches. I land the camera and cue the actor. And now. I quickly drop the camera down as he sits up. Landing the framing there was very difficult. I slowly rotate around him to the right and lift the camera up so we can clearly see him throw away the mushroom. This also made it easier to keep him framed for when he laid back down. When set, I cue him again and I lift the camera up as he moves. And now. Then I rotate around to the left to get the over the shoulder shot and to reveal our actress. I had to make sure to give her some space on the right for when she jumped down or she would fall out of frame. He fell out of the shot but I wait for him to get back in and I follow along with his over the shoulder before wrapping around to his right to get the 50-50 shot as they get closer. I had the actors lift the sword up unnaturally high to show that she was taking it from him. I was hoping the punch would be a shock to the audience as much as it was to him. Then I wrap around to show her reaction and then hide a whip cut to the next shot. I had to not move to allow the sword to go very close to the lens and then after her first step I could rotate around to the left to show a bit more of the action. After his punch I had a whip cut to her close up and then slowly push in close to her. I'm now following her hand which gives the camera a reason to move in that direction and also lets someone sneak in and hand her the sword over her shoulder. I'm sticking with her hand. I know that when she goes to grab it, it is safe for me to show the sword. Then I slowly pull back for a breath and follow her sword to another whip cut. Starting with his sword blocking the hit and then pulling out wide to show the action. I rotate the camera into Don Juan and this allows me to walk forward as I'm doing this walk. There were a lot of things to avoid on the ground here, so I'm actually concentrating more on the ground than I am on the action. As long as I make sure they are framed okay, I know it'll look good. I love the foreground objects going in front of them at this point. I also wanted to get back close to them at a certain point, so I needed my walk to be very consistent and to take the same amount of time each take, or I would get there too early or too late. We did this whole video in a few hours, but this point was intended to be shot in a similar style to the rest of the video. To save time, we ended up shooting it like this, or a bunch of the stuff would have had to have been cut. I stick with the main character in a medium shot and hide another whip pan. I switched the rig to low mode at this point. I pull back to reveal and follow her sitting up and then wrap around to get the 50-50 shot for him to enter frame. I lock off and let them have their intimate moment. What a sucker this guy is. As soon as she scratches his face, I rotate around her to show her evil look, then hide a whip cut over to his reaction and push him with him as he walks backwards. The foam is an Alka-Seltzer tablet that he put in his mouth during the cut. Disgusting, but it looks great. Then I hit another cut in a whip boom to follow his face to the ground. I extended the post in low mode to get the camera really low to the ground. And then the actor fakes being dragged off screen.